Let's start with C, the foundation of modern programming. C is like the building blocks of software. It gives you direct access to memory and hardware, which makes it extremely powerful, but also unforgiving. With C, you can build operating systems, device drivers, and embedded systems. Almost every major piece of software at the system level has roots in C. Now, moving on to C++. Think of it as C with extra features. C++ introduced object-oriented programming, allowing developers to organize code into classes and objects. It's used in high-performance applications like video games, financial trading platforms, and web browsers. It's powerful, but it comes with complexity, and mastering it takes time. Still, when performance is critical, C++ remains a top choice. Next is Java, a language designed to run anywhere, thanks to the Java Virtual Machine. Java became the standard for enterprise applications because of its reliability and portability. It's used in Android apps, large-scale backend systems, and banking software. Companies trust Java when they need long-lasting, maintainable systems. Now to Python, the language everyone loves to learn. Python has simple, clean syntax that makes it perfect for beginners. But it's also used by professionals in some of the most advanced fields. From artificial intelligence and machine learning to web development and automation, Python is one of the most versatile languages in existence. Next up is JavaScript, the language of the web. At first, it was only used to add interactivity to websites, but now it's everywhere. Thanks to frameworks and Node.js, JavaScript powers both the front end and back end of web development. If you've used the internet, you've interacted with JavaScript. Now let's talk about PHP, a language often criticized, but still running much of the internet. PHP is the engine behind WordPress, Facebook's early code base, and millions of websites. It's easy to learn and quick to deploy which is why it remains a popular choice for building dynamic web applications despite its bad reputation. Moving on to C Sharp. Created by Microsoft, C Sharp is like Java's cousin. It's used heavily in Windows applications, enterprise software, and video games through the Unity engine. It blends performance with developer-friendly features, making it a go-to for many professional developers in the Microsoft ecosystem. Next, Swift, Apple's official programming language for iOS and macOS apps. Swift is modern, safe, and fast, replacing Objective-C as the language of choice for Apple development. If you've used an iPhone or iPad app built in the last few years, it was probably written in Swift. Now, let's look at Kotlin, the language that dethroned Java on Android. Kotlin is concise, expressive, and interoperable with Java, which means you can use both in the same project. It fixes many of Java's annoyances and is now the preferred way to build Android apps. Next up, Go, also known as Golang. Developed at Google, Go was designed for efficiency and simplicity. It compiles to fast machine code, has built-in support for concurrency, and is perfect for cloud computing, microservices, and large distributed systems. When speed and scalability matter, Go is a strong choice. Now let's move on to Rust, a rising star in the programming world. Rust gives you the performance of C and C++, but adds memory safety, preventing entire classes of bugs that cause crashes and security issues. It's used for systems programming, game engines, and even parts of the web browser Firefox. Developers love Rust for being both safe and fast. Next is Ruby, a language built for developer happiness. Ruby is simple and elegant, and with the Ruby on Rails framework, it made web development quick and fun. Many startups in the 2000s built their companies on Ruby on Rails, and while it's less popular now, it inspired countless modern frameworks. Now R, a language made by statisticians for statisticians. 
are specialized for data analysis and visualization. It's used in research, academia, and industries where making sense of large amounts of data is key. Charts, graphs, and statistical models come naturally in R. Next up, TypeScript, a superset of JavaScript that adds static typing. TypeScript helps developers avoid bugs by checking code before it runs. It's now widely used for large-scale applications because it makes JavaScript development more reliable and maintainable. Most modern web apps use TypeScript behind the scenes. Finally, SQL. Structured query language. Not a general purpose language, but absolutely essential. SQL is how you interact with databases, retrieving data, updating records, and managing information. From small apps to massive enterprise systems, SQL is everywhere data is stored. And that was a fast overview of the most important programming languages explained in six minutes. Each has its own strengths, weaknesses, and ideal use cases. Some are fast and low level, some are simple and high level, and some are highly specialized. Together, they shape how technology runs the modern world. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe for more quick, easy to understand tech breakdowns. Comment below which language you want me to dive deeper into next, and I'll make a video on it.